to game number one. Like we said, uh, Falco or Falcon, excuse me, um, Marth. I'd like to see Battlefield for game number one, uh, but it looks like they're kind of hovering over Final Destination here. Yep. Yeah. All right, so no platform, boys. I'm not mad at it. Three, so Final Destination. Um, I feel like that should benefit Marth a little bit uh, for if he can manage to put Falcon in the air a lot. But at the same time, though, if this Falcon overwhelms him, this will be a real hard time here trying to get a little space Ooh. so he can start it up. I like the spacing right here, though, you know. Uh, sees how much space he has behind him, so he's like, let me just step back a little bit, catch you every time you keep trying to dash in. So Definitely, man. That is the Falcon gameplay, though. Man. Yeah. They just be dashing around until they commit to one option. Usually it's either grab, dash, attack, or neutral air. Yeah, nice. So. <laughs> I like the nice footwork like you talked about. It's very reminiscent of what we see from like a, uh, like a Terror Bear, or yeah. like a Fatality almost. Oh. Okay, trying to punish him off stage. Good like stuff. It. Didn't get the full uh, hit of that dance of late, but finishes it right there. So good start here for Cold Weather. I taught him everything Ooh. he knows, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> And again, trying to read the get up off the ledge of the stage. Really good space here from Cold Weather, as you know. She's space. Oh, oh my God! What the you know heck? what? Actually, Cold Weather. What? I, I was actually teaching hot weather. Okay, I was teaching uh, Hawaii weather right there because Cold Weather right now, <laughs> he's freezing himself out this game. That's crazy. I can't believe. Sad to see, man. So much spaghetti, man. And it looks like my man Joe Lowe definitely has the sauce. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Right. It's only, it's only one stock. You got some time. And now, Joe Lowe. Taking a lot of damage here. Cold Weather giving up a stock to himself with like 30, oh but he goodness. double grabbed that ledge and is not allowed to do that. Yeah, you know, Jolo with that lead, he's going to have to come in sooner or later. And just him not being as physically long as Marv means that he's going to have to come in with something semi punishable. End up finding himself off stage and ate a horse mask for his troubles. Yeah. Okay. Just See, right now, he's definitely not at that percentage where he has to start watching for uh, Captain Falcon just jumping in your face. You know, after a while, you know, Captain Falcon's definitely be looking for that uh, up tilt. Or up air, so they always end up just jumping in your face and then fast fall landing with it. If, if you can snuff that out, that's a, either a free S smash or a forward air from uh, Mars. Yeah, and I want to talk about you know Captain Falcon's utilization of jabs right now. Yeah, getting a little too roll happy. It looks like Cold Weather's starting to pick up on that. You see, he's just kind of running right into him as he's rolling. But yeah. right as that roll animation is over, he just throws out that jab and it just keeps Cold Weather out. Okay, get a little more damage right here. Oh, push him off stage. Air. Okay, good stuff there at the neutral get up, but again, finds himself nice. eating more dancing blades. I think he took that jump too. Cold weather again with the trump and the F smash. I don't think that's gonna finish, but still. High recovery that time, and again, another dent. Oh, try to delay it. That's yeah. the MK Leo special right there. Well, but the MK Leo, he has to go, for, if he wants to go for the, the true MK Leo, he has to go for the down hit of three and then the forward hit of four to try to really line up that uh, tipper. Uh, the dance I played right there. Not sure if he can still do it. The forward air, I taught him everything he knows, people. I taught him everything he knows. Here you go, man. <laughs> everything he knows about Mars. Got the information from me. TK stats Free. coming soon. TK stats. We'll run it on stream, man. Except for that SD. I definitely didn't teach him that. That's not a, that's not a me thing. <laughs> not with that. I mean, I've SD'd some times, but I still at least get the LB out there, you know, just, just to see. Either way, great stuff right there from uh, Cold Weather. You know, end up giving the stock up extra early, but really didn't phase him too much. I mean, he wasn't even close to kill percentage, uh, really, in that second stock uh, playing against Jolo. Yeah, you know, it just shows, uh, you know, how crazy Smash 4 can be sometimes. Even when you're down, you're never, never out. Far from it. We're going to run back here on FD again. Okay. Good old-fashioned game of footsies right there. Like, he kind of went for the dash attack to bait him out of that corner. Yeah. And, man, just... Cold weather building up this wall here with these aerials. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm so. surprised uh, right now that Wilson's letting him land into, uh, or that Jolo, uh, Jolo is letting him land into him so much with aerials. Like, Mark doesn't really have too many safe aerials that he can land on your shield without spacing them correctly. Uh, and he really just fell right into that man with the up air. That was a free grab, free jab, anything. He, he's just letting it rock. Oh, I like that idea, though. Looking for the grab uh, behind him. Again, Jolo has been rolling Ooh, quite a bit. Three uppers in a row, man. We're in the Ooh. circus right now. Okay. Good stuff. Force him to recover low there. Just holding out the jab, trying to catch a neutral get up or a get up of any sort. All right, oh, almost no got that forward air right there. That could have been big. Jello back on stage. Kind of held down to the corner, but finally, you know, pushing his way back to the middle of the stage here. Yeah, and I love how Jolo gets knocked into that corner, but doesn't roll in. He knows yeah. how Cold Weather's really scouting out like a forward smash or a down smash of some sort. Well, that was the MK layout right there. He got that last hit, he was taking it. To be real, man, I kind of see a shield break uh, potential incoming. I, I'm seeing a lot of shield here on the left side. If he lands, you know, if he puts the pressure on Jolo. Oh, again, are oh, we going to oh. oh, the drift back. That was smart. Tokyo drift, man. Oh, okay, so he had to do that a little faster right there. I think he might have actually been able to hit that with uh, a faster fourth 
hit of Dancing Blade, but either way, Cold Weather really looking for these like high percent conversions. Oh, we tech those. I'm immediate tech. And you definitely got to tech versus Captain Falcon. Yeah. Okay, Falcon all stays right now. Oh, that was oh smart. My. The fake jump right there. Looked like he was going to go for the ledge. Immediately jumps back on. My man Panic buffered that roll, and he was already there with the up smash. Great stuff here to Cold Weather. Jolo, though, not too far off of getting the stock. Yeah, he's a clean, a clean smash attack, possibly even a Raptor boost right here, if we're still doing the 2015. <laughs> that smash scooped him from like 15 feet away, too. Whoa. Oh, there it is, that smash, I like it. Real back right there, gets himself back into the game, only 3% on him, so. Okay, again, another pivot, Dancing Blade. Beautiful stuff, gets the upper, kind of fades back that time, too, wanting to come back on stage here. Oh man, these fall away nares just baiting Jolo and he's eating so much percent for this. Okay, scooped up. Down throw up air, okay. Safe Jolo, stuff. yeah, he keeps trying to land down to the ground right here with these air dodges. If you want to land on the ground and get one immediate shield, you just have to take that chance. You know, you just gotta hit no buttons and then hit the shield, uh, hit the ground and then shield. Oh, good footwork there, converts into a forward smash. A Ooh, two in double. a row. Even tilted up that time. Oh, oh my, my god. I like the idea though. Cold Weather, I, I feel like if he had lined that up, Cold Weather was not going to be able to up B that in time. So, And it's a scary situation going up against any Falcon because once the crowd starts getting on your side, man, it just really makes it difficult for the opponent. Jolo with the double up air. Scary stuff at all. He was actually going to try to scout out a knee. Oh, Ooh, he went for the 2015! All right, now he's got to go for the... the oh, that, I don't Down think he touched the ground. Oh, he did, he did. I think he has to go for the true 2015, and he has to cross him up and go for it. Oh, goes for the jab, and that opens him up for so much here. Again, another one scoops him up. Up smash, still not enough. Yeah, I mean, pretty low on the damage here. We way out here. Gets off the, uh, or on back to stage quickly. Another, another one. Are you serious? Are you serious, Jolo? Oh, we in 2014, man. I guess it's 3DS days, man. That was a, that was a trailer or something. I don't know what that was. <laughs> he on, said, man. I heard Raptor Boost kills. I got to throw it out. Yeah. Jolo, though, I mean, kind of threw that one away. You know, played it a little more patient. I feel like he would have been able to take that second game, but he yeah. really just started throwing out those Raptor Boosts. He was trying to boost that man into victory. Yeah, man, Torres the tail end. I mean, he just really stuck to his P's and Q's. I mean, he didn't go for anything, like you said, too punishable. Went for, like, double, triple up air. Um, even threw me for a loop. I thought he was going to actually try to scout out a knee. He said, you know what, man? I'm going to play this one to the book. And then ended up throwing out two Raptor Boosts. <laughs>